Hi, you seven. Welcome to your first online art tutorial with me. Um, today, we are going to look at our shape collage. Um, so in the classroom, you should be able to find and download this sheet. I'll show you that, this shape sheet. This has got all your instructions on it to help you with this activity. This activity is um, part of your assessment. This is your second artwork that you will be submitting next term. So I'm going to talk you through it so you know exactly how to do it. Um, so you are going to need a few things from around the house. You're going to need your visual diary as a starting point. You're going to need scissors. You're going to need a glue stick and you're going to need a heap of different paper types. So what I mean by paper types is things like newspaper, wrapping paper, colored paper. Um, uh, what else have I got there? Scrapbooking paper, if you've got any of those. Lots of different patterns um, and colors will help you be able to create a really cool shape color. Okay. So along with those other items, you're also going to need a lead pencil and um, uh, just one piece of blank A4 paper. Uh, so the first thing you're going to do for your shape collage is you need to decide on minimum three shapes that you would like to include. What you have to have a combination of organic shapes and inorganic shapes in your collage. So I have chosen to do, I'll show you on here. I've chosen to do pairs, um, ooh, semicircles and kind of leaf shapes. Okay, so I've chosen my three shapes. I've drawn them on this A4 sheet of paper in various sizes. So what you need to do now is decide on your three shapes and draw a, very, um, a collection of them on your A4 page in different sizes. So do that now. After you've drawn your shapes on your piece of paper, you're going to cut them out, okay? This piece of paper is going to be used as the stencil for the rest of your paper types. So what you need to do is cut out all of your shapes I'll just do one. So I've cut out a semicircle. This is going to be your template. So you can use this to trace around on all your different paper types. Okay. So you should have about mm, between eight and 10 different templates and different sizes. So cut out all your shapes on your A4 piece of paper. And then I will tell you what to do next. Once you've cut out all your shapes, ooh, you should have a heap of shapes in white uh, paper. So I've got my pears, my um, leafy sort of shapes, and my semicircles. These are going to be your template for your colored papers. So now what you can do is get your colored papers or your newspaper or your wrapping paper or whatever it is you're going to use. And you need to trace at least um, one of these, one in each, one of each template um, onto your choice of paper. So what I would like you to do is mix up your paper types. So I've already skipped this step. So um, I'll just show you what you should be doing. So I have semicircles here. They're a bit rolled, but semicircles in a few different sizes in this pattern. Then I have semicircles in um, a spot pattern. This is all just wrapping paper. Um, I have semicircles in brown paper as well. And then I've got my leaves. So I've got leaves in black. I've got leaves in wrapping paper. There's another one. I've got leaves in brown paper, brown paper, all different sizes. And then I've got pears as well. So pears in brown paper, pears in black paper, um, pears in ooh, yellow polka dot paper and other wrapping paper. 
okay? And what I've just done is I've piled all those up together and this is what we're going to use to do our collage. So go now and trace um, using your templates all of your shapes onto your colored papers and cut them all out and just group them into piles. So you've got all your same shapes together. Okay, so once you've cut out all your shapes, here's my piles of shapes. What I would like you to do is get a spare piece of your paper type that you're using and put it down in your visual diary so it covers the entire page. This is going to be your background, okay? So once you've done that, we are go you're going to start arranging your shapes on the page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the darker colors in the background first. And basically what you need to do is come up with a design for your um, shape collage and try and cover not every area but most areas on the page and make sure you're using your different paper types so you can see these aren't glued down your different paper types and you can slide shapes underneath each other so they pop out behind each other you can do them so they overlap Obviously, I'm. this is looking upside down to you, but you get the idea. Um, and then once you are starting to be happy with your arrangement, you can start to glue your designs, your shapes down. Okay, so the reason why I asked for lots of different sizes was because you are obviously going to have little gaps that you might need to fill. Okay, so it's good to have those smaller sized um, pieces so you can fill the little gaps that are going to pop up. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit here and just glue this down um, and I'll fast forward it up on the video so you can see how I'm going about it. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to stop there because I think I've done enough. So this is what my end one looks like. Okay, so as you can see, it's just a collage of all different shapes. Um, what I might do is I might go back in with a permanent marker around and go around some of them um, just to define the sections a little bit more where I can. But what we're really looking for here is how you're using shape and collage and creating textures through your choices of paper. Mine's a little bit hectic in color, but um, you know, we're getting there. So Everyone needs to have a go at this. This is a part of your assessment. It's not a hard part of your assessment. We've obviously had to adjust everything um, because you're working from home now. So I'm hoping most of you have access to these items. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to see what you do. If you've got any questions about this, just put it in the comments um, under the post in the classroom because uh, that's going to be the easiest way for us to get back to you. Um, and yeah, we'll see you later. Bye.